just so the, um, the dry verge covers them. Oh no, not sure, not sure that is. I forgot about that. They're kind of the front, so I'm just getting mixed in now. It's going to take a while. Oh, the boiling kettles. I just assumed all the pillars were three brick. Right, just at Wix, because Wix are one of the only people who supply these 150 cavity closers. So we've got four, one for each side of the door, one across the bottom of the window, which is 12, um, and then one for each side of the window. And I've got a bit of drains for a gully to go in, but we haven't got the gully yet. We're going to get that from Fairwoods. So we're heading off to drop all this lot off and get ourselves set up for tomorrow. And we're going to go early tomorrow and try hopefully finish early. Right, 20 to 12. We've just had a break stroke dinner at the same time. Alex has gone round and done all the patching. 
not put that piece of block back up and point it around the ridge. I can say purling then. And he's patched up the whole row behind and pointed it all up so that ridge, now, ridge is now in solid. Um, as you can see, wall plates on and bolted down. There's the, there's the drills, the drill with the mag drill. There's probably uh, no, we're okay. As you can see, block works nice and right. I don't know about the above, might need to knock a tiny bit off, but I've not looked. All these are in, you just need a gluing in a couple of nails whacking in. Always looks nice and tidy when the cavity closes go in. Just makes it look nice and clean and there you go. Whoppers them aren't they? 150 cavity. <coughs> uh, me and Louis have cut all the rafters, they're all ready to go in. Uh, this side isn't as straightforward as this one because this is going to have two veluxes in it. So that all needs working out. And then you can see there the extra height of the pitch compared to the conservatory. So those gashes there with the lead. So you can see where the bottom of the roof was. So the roof goes up one, two, three, four, five, nearly, nearly 18 inches higher. So the lead's going to go almost up to the window. Um, going to look smart. Really nice. And um, it's going to be quite a good, good area as well. I can't remember what square meters it exactly. I think it's four, four eight by four sheets. So that's two, four, six, eight. It's about twelve square meters thereabouts. So yeah, I've spent an hour or so cutting all this out. I took the block work out, dug everything right down to the commons, put some of this green in, more insulation, more this green. Now we're just going to knock a little bit of concrete so hand mix it and just patch that corner up. That's again, I keep saying about never assume anything. I just assumed all the pillars were three brick, three brick, three brick, three brick. So I just did the same here and it's wrong. When you look at the drawing it's only two, two brick, 450, well 460. So um, I'm going to sort that out. You don't have the visqueen running up there because you want the, the concrete to bond through same this side here, you want the concrete to bond through so you just have to fish green up the cold bridge and strip either side so I won't need a lot for that I might just add to that and uh, yeah probably get the scraper work around the scaffold and what's next, oh yeah I'm going to start sorting this drainage out so this needs tidying up, lifting and start digging and find out where this pipe goes see which direction it heads off from expecting it to come out this way but um, we might just take this gully out and swap it to there but we'll see so yeah coming on we're still quite slow at the moment still got waiting for jobs to, to like fit into place so we're, um, we're not rushing off anywhere yeah so the proper building site now four of us here
I know tidying up's a bit dull, but this is all part of the process. Look at that pattern from underneath the board. So as you can see there, that's not going to turn out at all. It's very cold wind around here, but the sun's coming round. It's going to come through that alley for about 10-15 minutes straight down here. It's just not going to get us anywhere. Um, we've got as much as we possibly can off, so the rest of it now we'll be getting off of the jet wash tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, me and Christine are off for, for the weekend, Saturday night, Sunday, to off to Liverpool for a nice little break. Um, so, get this done in the morning and we can head off in the afternoon. We've got this to bag up now, but it's solid. So, when you try and get it shifted into the sun, I think Alex is going to put a mix in now, a small mix, to get these flags fixed. And then all, all that's left to do tomorrow is just jet washing. So, um, it's still freezing, 5 degrees, but in the shade and the wind, it's not 5 degrees. It's, it's still freezing. As you can see, that's not flowing. Sucks. I think when we started this at the beginning, in the middle of November, the weather was just starting to turn then, and it's never been good since. Be beginning of November, so we've had it for two months as a frozen solid or wet. They were, they were bad storms. So, um, yeah, we're going to probably have another hour here, see what we get done, and then back tomorrow with the uh, pressure washer. So, we'll see you in a bit. There's the um, the window. Brown on white. Brown on white. Uh, this is pretty much how we saw it last time. We quite a while ago. I don't think Neil and Louis have had the weather. It's been too much for them as well to come on here. So that's it. The skeleton's up, ready to have the roof put on. And we're here to try and sort out these flags. Well, not try. Sort out these flags. Um, Go on there and then uh, finish off with a roll of stone just in front of the door where the door stop is. I've done as much as I can at the front, so I'll just get a mix in now. It's going to take a while. Oh, the boiling kettles. <laughs> Although it is warm round here, it's not warm enough to store the sand out. It's quick enough, so we're boiling kettles. So, um, which is fine because it's, it's, it's about 6 degrees now, because we've got to accelerate the uh, sand throwing out. As usual, it's just every step of the way has been not ideal, but we just keep turning up, doing our best. I'm ashamed we couldn't show you more, but um, that's it so far. Yeah, look. Yeah, I see. You mean it. It'd be a little piece anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That must be a big piece of block that's not going anywhere. Yeah. I've um, backfilled the I've backfilled that slow part, so we'll just go put the big dollops down. Yeah. And then a couple of these, when we put these down, we walk straight on them and they sunk. So, and that's what we need to, so at least it's loose, we can get out easy enough. So those two are to be redone. So that one's okay over there. That one's okay down there, so it's just these two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you want me to put this over? Uh, yeah.
forgot to film this bit. It's a bit of a bummer. It's fun watching um, time lapsing pressure washing. So yeah, drive's done. Didn't take as long as I thought. Boards are all still here. We can't fit them in, so we've got to come back for them. Plus we've got to come back for the scaffold, so that's the way it is, I'm afraid. So all this is spotless now. Right to the kerb. All the way to there's done. I'm just moving all the boards back down here so I can get that little bit of the, the, the edging. Get it nice and clean. And then, yeah. You'd never know we'd been here. Except for the boards being on the drive. But we'll get onto that. So um, Alice is just getting all the stuff around the back and rebedding three flags and then that's us done. Just as it's going dark. So we'll catch you in a bit. Gone again. Let's get that bit of that in. There you go. We're going to get what boards we can in, but we can't fit them all in. They're still covered in ice and shit. So, um, that's been cleaned. Those three are clean. This polycarb's clean, so we can try and get them in. Just get them up over the top. I don't even know what time it is. Must be getting on for five now because it's getting dark later and later. 10 to 5, that's always good. Just turn Clive down. It's me. Sorry, Clive. Is it 28th today? 29th. Monday the 29th, and as you can see, it's a crap Monday the 29th. If you're in the northwest, I expect the whole country's got this. No, it hasn't. The northwest has got it, so we skipped it today. We've got a porch to start tomorrow. Um, Currently sorted out the materials with the, with the customer, but we've been up to the berries, as you can see. Well, you can't really see very well. And berries. The berries is always quite busy on a rainy day. People come and get the supplies in. So we've been up for insulation. Insulation. Physically. Because we like the ice of stuff. Um, when we use the thin stuff, there's only going to be a 50 mil cavity on this porch because porches don't come under building regs. So it's a thin cavity, so we come to get the thin insulation and we've got the visqueen. And um, while we're here, we always go in the shop. So I've got some filters for my PPE mask. Some new lines. Picked a couple of couple of drill bits. To just keep in the box. And new pins. Didn't really need them, but we picked them up anyway. We had, we had a pair of these a while ago, but they went missing, so we wanted some yeah. of these again. So we're... Um, we're going to head back now, ready for tomorrow. Let's forecast better tomorrow, I think. Wednesday's going to be iffy, but tomorrow, Thursday and Friday's meant to be okay. So um, we can get stuck into this porch. So when you see us tomorrow, we'll be on the porch. So I think we're just taking the floor up tomorrow and getting the block work up to DPC so we can do the slab after. It's only small slabs, we're going to pour the slab, mix the concrete ourselves and pour the slab ourselves. We just need to get all the stuff delivered. <sighs> okay, I don't know how many days it's been since we've been here last, but I can finally show you. Now that it's all done, all the snagging's been done, like all the gaps have been filled in, 
Roof's obviously looking very nice, and Neil and Louie are getting done. And then obviously we've just been doing the well, I've been doing the flag while Dad's been picking up our stuff. There's one more cracked one here, and then I've reset those two because they were wobbling. And I'm just compacting up with some grit stone and grit sand and uh, cement. Just to uh, compact it up. But oh. hmm? showing that bit. What bit? The door, the stone, the and stuff oh no, not, not showing that either. I forgot about that. Um, here as well, obviously, moved around the gullies. And now we've got two in there, so now Neil doesn't have to mess around getting the getting the downspout over there. But yeah, finally, finally, jobs are good. <laughs> obviously, that's cleaned up now, and I'm just getting the last of these uh, flags um, compacted up, so we can. Yeah, ten weeks. Ten weeks. Long time. Even Neil's had loads of time off with the weather. Yeah, weather's just been awful, but we persevered and we finally got it done. And today's the day. 20, 30th of January. <laughs> it is 30th, isn't it? Yeah, 30th of January. Yeah. I hope they can hear you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that'll. That'll be it for this video, finally. Thank you all very much for watching this very long adventure. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you'll always be notified when we upload, which is a massive help. And any additional support you'd wish to give to the channel, there's the super thanks just under the video and uh, a link to Dad's PayPal at the in the description. Not necessary at all, but always greatly appreciated. And we, th we thank you for the continued support for the channel. This has been... Brickling with Steve and Alex with a rather long extension and we will see you in the next one. Yeah, I'll just stick this in between Alex's uh Outro. That's just cost us a good hour or so. Just make it out there. Just short on a couple. A couple of mortar in, a couple of them a bit short, so I've had to knock the bricks out, knock the mortar out and just piece them up. Just so the um, the dry verge covers them. This side's fine. <laughs> See that's all nice and snug. Just got a few pieces on that side. So that's 8 and 12 of our afternoon. But today's the day, we're finished. Shake the customers hand and walk away today.